something is going on. Thank you so much. You're all shorter in person. <laughs> How you doing? I did too. I Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Cecil Bray, and I'm knocking over stuff in my little room here, my transformer vault. Anyways, what's up guys, how you doing? This is Seaspray, I'm back from Dark of the Moon. I saw the premiere of Transformers 3, today is June 27th, and it's about, it's almost 11 o'clock p.m. actually. We saw the 7.30 show, and we just got home just a few minutes ago, so it's a pretty decent movie, very long, and uh, wow, I have to say this movie was awesome. Um, lots and lots of action, full of lots of scenes that I expected, I didn't expect, um, the overall experience was great. So before I talk about this review, I just want to talk a little bit about my experience going there, and my mask is already getting fogged up here. Hot in that theater, I tell you man, whoa. New theater by the way, that was a new IMAX theater. We watched the first movie in there, which was the Transformer 3 film, and we didn't know we were watching the first viewing in this theater, at the new IMAX that they built uh, in a different part of our city. There was one in the city, now there's two. But anyways, um, it was a great experience. Um, we got there an hour and a half, roughly, before the movie started, and it was packed. But myself, my wife, my friend Eric, and his girlfriend, we both won tickets, Eric and I, um, uh, through the radio station, Hot 103 in Winnipeg. So him and I went to the theater, and we brought our dates, and stuff keeps falling over in here. So we went <clears throat> to the theater, he picked us up, we went straight there, and... Uh, got our food and sat down, but before they showed the movie, um, some people came up and talked about uh, certain stuff, uh, trying to promote certain uh, TV stations, radio stations, and of course the IMAX experience, stuff like that. So they're, they're giving away prizes. You have to answer questions, and uh, of course a lot of it was related to Transformers, and then of course some stuff is related to other IMAX questions or like, like company questions that they're trying to promote. But anyway, the Transformer questions, some G1s, some live action movie questions. I pretty much got all of them. Um, I said probably two wrong ones, but for the most part I got all of them. I did win something. I was really excited because I'm, I'm just yelling this stuff out and, and the party that was with me, they were just kind of a little embarrassed, but you know what? I was yelling stuff out. I knew the answers. I was the only person that yelled out. Uh, they asked what the Autobots computer is and I yelled out, Jolotron 1! So I went down and I got <coughs> an IMAX water bottle, an aluminum water bottle and a hat. Um, I thought it was Transformer hat and bottle, but so I wasn't too excited after, but I won. So anyways, so before I jump into this review, which is going to be a, just a quick non-spoiler review, and I'll do a full review later. I just want to kind of do this quick little video now and get it up, and then I'll do a, a full review later after I kind of um, take in the movie a little bit more. But overall, I loved it. I just want to say that right off the hop here. It was great. But yeah, my friends and, and my wife and I, we all went down there. And we went in the theater, so we got our stuff, and like I said, it was packed, there was a, a red carpet, lots of balloons, and just, there's tons of people standing everywhere. And we went, went and sat up at the top, uh, new leather reclining seats, um, which, again, it was hot in there, and that added to the heat, those leather seats, and the air quality wasn't that great in the theater. So, IMAX pull apart. I wasn't too impressed with the experience, but I loved the movie. And also, after they did, did the questions and the prizes, some guy came out in an Optimus Prime G1 costume, all like lights and smokestacks and everything, and he transformed, had the trailer and everything, which I did get on video. I think you're right, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, thank you so much. You're a lot shorter in person. <laughs> you but anyways, I'm just going to do my quick first impression review of this movie. Um, it was great. A great film. Lots of action, like I said. Um, they kind of left out some of the cheesy, you know, um, like dogs humping kind of jokes. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to say. I'm going to try and make this spoiler free if I can. 
But my overall impression, this is a great film. I loved it. Um, lots of storytelling. There's lots of depth in the story, which is cool. And a little bit, uh, some scenes kind of dragged a little bit at the beginning. And I was like, okay, what's going on here? Let's get on some robot action. But from a certain point, like a quarter into the movie, towards the end of the movie, it was nonstop action. Uh, I was gripping my seat. I was sweating. I don't know if it was because of the heat or what, but uh, it was awesome. Action-packed. Loved all the characters. They showed lots of cool characters. A lot of stuff that um, I expected, I didn't expect. Um, some little nod references to some first 2007 toys, which was kind of cool, and I thought that I appreciated that. Um, <clears throat> Laserbeak, of course, uh, people know he's in there. Uh, it was cool to see him in there, and uh, it was cool to see him and in, in, uh, other robots interact, which was... Um, um, some nod to G1, and I thought that was really cool. But yeah, man, like this uh, movie, it was violent, like it was hardcore. Like there was like people dying, robots getting ripped apart left and right, and blasted away. Like it was nuts. And um, Rose, uh, the female actor Carly, I didn't think I was gonna like her in this movie, but uh, she did the movie justice. You know, she's right in there, and she pretty interactive with a lot of the scenes and does some, a lot of action scenes like sliding on the ground and running through some stuff so um, I was pretty impressed with her and I didn't think I was gonna like her so that was pretty cool Sam was very more a lot more serious in this film not so you know joking around and high blood he was high blood but it was all for the right reasons and um, he did some justice for the film I thought it was pretty cool and um, like I said the, the tone was definitely a lot darker hence dark of the moon um, so I, I did appreciate that they kind of left out some jokes that they put a lot in the first two films. A lot of the the sexual humor and, and what have you. And it was also really cool how they um, intertwined uh, real life events, um, like president stuff and like um, television debates and like the whole moon stuff and they kind of inter intertwined it with the film. Um, like they were filming, they took actual scenes that they recorded and it, it looked like they were filming it from a, like a third party uh, viewing the parts that they recorded back in like the 60s or whatever but yeah lots of action um i did love what they did with prime's trailer we knew prime's trailer was going to be in there so that's not a spoiler but what they did with that was awesome i'm not going to say what they did because it was not announced and it was awesome and i love that R a really cool idea and a really cool touch in, in my opinion but it was also cool to see Wheelie was back. The voice sounded a little bit different to me. And his little buddy Brain, I think Brain or Brains, I thought he was hilarious. Um, I love those two little guys that interact with one another. But I don't know how to do this review really without saying too much and giving away a lot. Um, but I did enjoy it. It, it, like it was a cool third you know, end of a trilogy, but I felt it was a little bit weak at the end. Like It, just, it left it kind of hanging, I thought. Even though everything was done, and you know they're doing the final little whatever, but I just felt it was a little bit lack towards the end, and I, I'm hoping it builds up for something else. But I think that's it. Um, I don't want to talk too much about this. Um, definitely check it out. I did like it. I really enjoyed it. If I had to rate it out of five matrixes, I would give it four and a half matrixes. It was it was pretty cool, and definitely for a transformer movie. It gave you what you want, a lot of robot action and just badass scenes, a lot of really nice visual effects. The 3D wasn't that great. I thought the 3D was better in like the Puss in Boots trailer, for example, like when the this dust was coming at you. But the overall 3D experience, it was nice, like an environmental 3D experience, not so much stuff in your face, which some parts did, but not as much as I thought it was going to, for especially for a new 3D technology and stuff, which they give you these special glasses. Not different than the other ones that they gave you. They give you these special ones which you have to return to them and they told you like two or three times. But anyways, um, check it out. I highly recommend it. Um, it was really cool. Uh, I just wish there was more, you know, more scenes with, there's lots of robot scenes, but it just, um, just the interaction with certain scenes with the characters and whatnot, I felt was locked a little bit. Which but it was an awesome film. Everybody that I was with loved it, and you know, certain people said they were going to go see it again. And they would see it again, and the overall experience was cool. Definitely with the prizes and the red carpet and balloons, and and just it was really fun. And everybody was really into it, and it was it was awesome. So the overall experience was really cool, and the, the movie was awesome. Um, uh, it was really cool, and I I can't I I really hope they make 
sequels to the, these films. Maybe go to a different direction, maybe, but overall, I just I, I loved it. So highly impressed. Um, it was definitely better than the second one, but I'm not too sure if it's better than the first one. Just the structure in the first one was pretty cool, and just the build-up and just the, the nostalgia of it, I guess. But third one is awesome. Check it out. It's badass. Lots of violence, destruction, and it was it was pretty sick, man. So this is Sea Spray. I think that is it. I think I covered pretty much everything. Um, I was trying to think of stuff to say on the way home and whatnot, but I'll definitely do a full review later. Right now, this is kind of just a first impression review. I might have forgot stuff and whatever, but definitely check it out dropping shit in here definitely check it out it's awesome and i'll catch you in the next review all right this is c spray and i'll talk to you later